Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at various database technology on AWS. Database is defined as following by Wikipedia, a database is an organized collection of data, generally stored and accessed electronically from a computer system. The Database Management System or DBMS is the software that interacts with end users, applications, and the database itself to capture and analyze the data. Relational Database or RDBMS comprises tables of rows and columns. Each row is a record, each column is a field of data attribute. A table looks like a spreadsheet with rows and columns. Relational Database requires a fixed data schema, which means you have to define a fixed number of columns with predefined data types when you create the table. For example, you need to define whether a column should be a numeric, string, or date-time type. RDBMS can only store structured data. You can use structured query language or SQL to query data from tables. Relational databases are widely used for traditional applications, ERP, CRM, and e-commerce websites, which were dominant from the early 1980s to the early 2000s. Non-relational database is also called NoSQL database. They are document-based and key-value data stores. Non-relational database doesn't impose fixed schemas. You don't need to define a fixed number of columns or data types. NoSQL database can store less structured data. Most NoSQL databases do not support SQL for data queries. Non-relational database has become popular for modern distributed systems. They are built for web scale applications that require low latency to store massive data. A relational database may have a few two-dimensional tables with rows and columns. These tables are highly structured. Each table uses a unique primary key to identify records. A table may have relationships with one or more tables using foreign keys. For example, you have a supplier table with name and contact information of suppliers. Each record has a unique supply ID as the primary key. You have a product table with product details such as product ID, name, and a foreign key supply ID. The foreign key is the relationship between the supplier table and the product table. You can use SQL to query each table. You can also use supply ID to join information from two tables together. You have to define fixed structures when you create the tables. It is difficult to restructure a table after the table creation. NoSQL database uses the object key value store. Each record is regarded as an object which can have multiple key value pairs and nested objects. In a relational database, different types of entities are stored in different tables. Whereas in a NoSQL database, nested objects allow multiple entities and their relationships captured in one record. For example, here's a supplier table with supply ID, name, contact information, and a nested list of products with prod ID and name. Each supplier can have different structures of attributes. NoSQL database is less structured than relational database. You don't need to define a fixed structure at the beginning. It is more flexible and scalable than the relational database. OLTP stands for Online Transactional Processing. OLTP databases are used for transactional processes where frequent reads and writes are required. Applications use OLTP databases to support day-to-day -day business operations. OLTP databases allow users and applications to perform fast and frequent operations on fewer data. Most data stored in OLTP databases are current data, where data are frequently updated and new records are constantly inserted. Most OLTP databases have row-oriented data store architectures, optimized for multiple concurrent operations. OLTP databases are widely used for e-commerce applications, web apps, and gaming applications. For example, you have an online shopping website. You can use an OLTP database to store products, orders, and customer information. Operations like adding new products, updating customer information, processing orders are online transactional processes. These operations are performed frequently on a small amount of data. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing. OLAP databases are used for analytical processes, where heavy data read across multiple tables or data stores are required. Data Warehouse is a typical OLAP database. Data Warehouse is commonly used to support data mining, data analysis, business summary and reporting, and business intelligence. Data Warehouse allows users to run large queries on massive data across multiple tables or data stores. These queries are complex and slow to run, and you don't need to respond to the result in real time. Data in Data Warehouse are historical and not updated very frequently, as your applications don't write data to Data Warehouse directly. 
data are usually extracted and transformed before loading into the data warehouse. Most OLAP databases have column-oriented data store architectures that are optimized for multidimensional data queries, where you need to aggregate information of many columns from different tables or data stores. For example, you might want to extract sales information for different departments and summarize them in the same report. You might use business intelligence software to analyze the buying patterns between your customer groups and popular products. AWS offers a wide range of purpose-built database technology, including relational database, key value store, document database, in-memory store, graph database, time series, and ledger databases. AWS databases are fully managed by AWS. You don't need to worry about database management tasks, such as server provisioning, patching, configuration, backups, and recovery. AWS continuously monitors your clusters to keep your workloads up and running with self-healing storage and auto-scaling. So you can focus on higher value application development. AWS databases are performance optimized databases. They're designed to be three to five times faster than standard alternatives. You can start small and easily scale your database's compute and storage as your applications grow. AWS databases are built with high availability, reliability, and security for enterprise level applications and business critical workloads. Most AWS databases support multi-AZ and multi-master replication. AWS provides full oversight of your data with multiple levels of security, including network isolation using VPC, encryption at rest, and encryption in transit. Amazon RDS is the relational database service that provides highly available, secure, scalable, and fast relational database options for your OLTP applications. RDS is suited for applications that require data integrity and perform frequent transactional reads and writes. RDS offers six database engines. They're MySQL, PostgreSQL, MariaDB, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and Aurora database engines. PostgreSQL is an enterprise-level open-source relational database engine. MySQL is one of the most popular open-source relational database engines. Amazon Aurora is a fully managed relational database engine that is compatible with MySQL and PostgreSQL. It's up to five times faster than the standard MySQL and three times faster than the standard PostgreSQL. MariaDB is a popular open source database engine based on MySQL. RDS also offers fully licensed and managed Oracle database and Microsoft SQL database engines. Amazon Redshift is an enterprise level petabyte scale fully managed data warehouse solution for online analytical processing. So why do you need a petabyte scale data warehouse? Imagine you have an online shopping site that serves hundreds of thousands of customers. You can analyze popular products across millions of products and summarize the most popular products of all time, as well as on a weekly and monthly basis in each category. You need to navigate across millions of records and query many tables. Traditional databases are not optimized for complex queries on very large data sets. You need an enterprise level data warehouse for this. Redshift makes it simple and cost effective to analyze all your data using standard SQL and your existing BI tools. It allows you to run complex analytic queries against terabytes to petabytes of structured data using sophisticated query optimization, columnar store on high performance storage, and massively parallel query execution. Redshift is an RDBMS that supports standard SQL queries. It's built from PostgreSQL but designed for OLAP applications. The core infrastructure component of a Redshift data warehouse is a cluster. A cluster is composed of a leader node and one or more compute nodes. Redshift uses the columnar storage, where each data block stores values of a single column for multiple rows. Columnar storage drastically reduces the disk I.O. requirements and the amount of data loaded from the disk. Redshift is optimized for high-performance analysis and reporting of very large data sets. Redshift is integrated with many AWS services, such as Data Lake using Amazon S3 and Business Intelligence using Amazon QuickSight. For example, you can use Redshift Spectrum directly to query massive data stored in S3. You can connect QuickSight to Redshift and quickly build business insights. Amazon DynamoDB is a key value and document-based NoSQL database that delivers single-digit millisecond performance at scale. DynamoDB is the semi-structured database that allows you to easily update the data structure and schema over time. DynamoDB is the serverless database that removes the burden of installing and maintaining any servers or software. DynamoDB automatically scales capacity to maintain high performance 
You can start small and scale up to support petabytes of data and tens of millions of requests per second. DynamoDB has built-in high availability and fault tolerance, as data is automatically replicated across multiple availability zones in one region. It also supports cross-region backups, and global tables with multi-region replicas. DynamoDB is suited for a variety of applications and businesses, such as advertising, gaming, banking, retail, media, software, and internet applications. Amazon ElastiCache is a fully managed in-memory data store and cache service for Redis and Memcached. It's designed to power real-time applications with sub-millisecond latency. In-memory databases give you higher throughput and lower latency than disk-based databases. Applications that implement in-memory databases significantly reduce disk operations and improve overall performance. ElastiCache offers two data store options. Redis is the in-memory data store for complex structured data, web caching and message broking. Memcached is the simple in-memory key value store for simple caching. ElastiCache is suited for many use cases for real-time applications, including web caching, session stores, real-time analytics, and queuing services. AWS offers several purpose-built database technologies. There are relational databases for OLTP applications such as Amazon RDS and Aurora, that are designed for e-commerce, ERP and CRM, and web applications. Amazon Redshift is the relational OLAP data warehouse, that is designed for business intelligence and data analytics applications. Amazon DynamoDB is AWS proprietary key value store technology, that is designed for high traffic web apps and e-commerce systems. Amazon ElastiCache is the in-memory data store service for Memcached and Redis, that is designed for session management, gaming leaderboards, and simple caching. Amazon DocumentDB is MongoDB compatible NoSQL database to store semi-structured data, such as JSON-like documents. A document database is ideal for content management, catalogs, and user profiles. Amazon Keyspaces for Apache Cassandra is a wide column store NoSQL database. It uses tables, rows, and columns, but unlike a relational database, the names and format of the columns can vary from row to row in the same table. Use cases of key spaces are high-scale industrial apps for equipment maintenance, fleet management, and route optimization. Amazon Neptune is a graph database for applications that need to navigate and query millions of relationships between highly connected graph datasets with millisecond latency at a large scale. Common use cases are fraud detection, social networking, recommendation engines. Amazon TimeStream is a database technology to store time series data. Time series databases efficiently collect, synthesize, and derive insights from data that changes over time, and with queries spanning time intervals. Use cases are sensory data of IoT applications, industrial telemetry data, and stock market data. Amazon Quantum Ledger Database or QLDB is a fully managed ledger database that provides a transparent, immutable, and cryptographically verifiable transaction log owned by a central trusted authority. QLDB uses cryptographic algorithms similar to blockchain-based ledgers, such as Hyperledger Fabric and Ethereum. However, the difference is that the blockchain framework relies on the entire blockchain network with multiple nodes. Whereas QLDB is centralized and easier to set up. Use cases are applications that require transparent, traceable, and immutable transactions, such as supply chain and banking transactions. In this episode, we've learned the basic concept of database and AWS database services. We've learned the difference between RDBMS and NoSQL, OLTP and OLAP databases. RDBMS is the relational database system that comprises tables, rows and columns that store structured data. NoSQL database is non-relational database that stores key value and document data. Data in NoSQL database is less structured. OLTP stands for Online Transactional Processing. OLTP databases are used for transactional processes where frequent reads and writes are required. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing. OLAP databases are used for analytical processes, where heavy data read across multiple tables or data stores are required. AWS offers several database technologies. Amazon RDS is the relational database service. RDS offers Aurora, MySQL, PostgreSQL, MariaDB, Microsoft SQL Server, and Oracle database engines. RDS is commonly used for transactional workloads. Amazon Redshift is an enterprise-level, petabyte-scale relational data warehouse. Amazon DynamoDB is a high-performance, scalable key-value store. 
It's a serverless technology that allows you to provision capacity without managing servers. Elasti Cache for Redis and Memcached are in memory data store for real time high throughput, low latency web caching, session store, and queuing services. There are other purpose built database services on AWS, such as DocumentDB, Neptune, Keyspaces, Timestream, and QLDB. Okay, that's all for the AWS databases. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.